really Konami. You gotta do this right now. Hello, my friends. Dollarville here, and welcome to a banless video. The Yu-Gi-Oh! banless just dropped today as I am recording this, and I wanted to let you guys know what it was, talk to you guys about it, and so let's get right on into this. Um, first, I would like to apologize for you not being able to see the ban list. I can't exec I'm recording on my phone at the moment, so figuring things out. We'll get it better soon, hopefully. So, what we got here is Astrograph Sorcerer has been banned. Yay. Um, well, that kills, like, all Pendulum decks. I guess they didn't hit our Electromite, because that is definitely a key part. But, I mean... Electromite Search Astrograph is a very powerful play, and I, uh, I guess that was to put Pendulum Magicians in check, obviously, but I guess Astrograph Sorcerer was the lesser of two evils when it came to banning a generic Pendulum card. The next card they banned is Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King, and, um, wow. This is, uh, I wasn't really expecting this. I was expecting... Uh, diagram to go to zero, not masterpiece, but uh, I guess that happened now. Um, apparently, uh, so the next card is Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis. I w uh, guess Konami really does not want a uh, plant FTK running around in the TCG. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, that's the only reason I could think to ban that card. Uh, they also banned. Uh, Starving Venom, Supreme King Dragon, Starving Venom. Sorry, the cat's doing things. Um, so, Konami really does not want FTKs running around uh, at all. Uh, though I am interested to... You know what, they probably didn't ban uh, Assemble Nightingale because... I mean, it has been... It is a problem card. Because it has been used in multiple OTK, FTKs. But, I mean, I guess is a boss monster of Illyrilisks, and they don't want to ban the the one card just because of a few uh, unintended interactions. So the next card that's banned is Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, yeah, was not expecting this one at all. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. I would have thought Terraforming would be hit as well, and we'll get to that later, but fairy, Ancient Fairy Dragon is... That is very interesting. Maybe I would have thought it would go to one. Now, the next card is Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force. Uh, if any of you that are watching this, let me know in the comments down in the comments uh, what Argent Chaos Force actually is used for, because I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what the card does. I have never seen it in person. I mean, I get, I know what it basically does. It's a rank up spell for the... I saw it in the anime, it was for, like, Dyson Sphere and, uh, the Chronomaly guy. So, next is That Grass Looks Greener is the last banned card, and, um, it was limited, and now it's banned. Konami really is just cracking down on the different decks. First, they don't want FTKs running around, which is understandable, but now they don't want the 60-card decks running around. So, 60-card Lightsworn, BA, and, um... Infernoid are just... <laughs> no more of those. So next, we got Limited. So I guess, um, with Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter is now Limited. So I guess since Banding Masterpiece, this is a good trade-off. They get Dynamite back, and as you'll see later, they get Ignis back. They banned Gem Knight Master Diamond. So they hit the Plant FTK, the Pendulum Magician FTK, and the Gem Knight FTK. Um, wow. They really, there's just no more FTKs for anybody. And then there's Chain Strike. Um, Chain Strike is now limited, which is interesting, because appar apparently Konami doesn't want Chain Burn. Um, I mean, you could replace it with cards like, uh, Just Dessert, or, uh, you know what? Uh, I believe it was Ceasefire that just got off the ban list, so... You could put Ceasefire in there instead of the uh, instead of the second copy of Chain Strike. I don't know. 
Then we have for the semi limited, we have uh, Apocalypse for Towers. That's a mouthful. It's Towers. You know what it is. Uh, so, Towers being semi limited, it's creeping back, it's creeping back up to unlimited stasi- status. Um, it's just a. It's just a boss monster that can't be targeted. Yay. Unaffected by stuff. Uh, and then Ring of Destruction is semi limited. Uh, so Ring of Destruction is creeping back up to unlimited status as well, which is fun. Alright, now for the uh, newly unbanned cards. We have Antlanian Dragoons, which was semi limited. Well, then, uh, I don't know much about Mermails, but I know Atlantean Dragoons is a good card in the deck. Um, and now that it's at three, yay. Uh, Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord, was forbidden. Um, yeah, um, I don't know Grand Soil's exact effects, but I'm fairly certain that he was banned for a reason. So, I guess with them, uh, banning the Starving Venom, they can bring back Grand Soil because I believe Starving Venom was co- uh, copying Grand Soil's effect or something. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I forgot what that was. Ignis Heat, the True Drake Warrior. Ignis is back, so I guess that's a good trade off for banning Masterpiece. They get Dynamite and Ignis back. And then, uh, Mathematician was semi-limited, and now it's at 3 again, which is wonderful. Then we have Grand Mole and Compulsory Evac device. Uh, Neospacing Grand Mole has been what, one for a long time, and it didn't need to be, and same with Compulsory. So, that is it for the new ban list, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this ban list, and uh, let me know about that Argent Chaos Force. I don't know anything about that card. I'm going to have to look it up after this. I probably should have looked up before this, but... Um, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace!